Oh, well, Luke, first of all, congratulations on extending your coaching contract with the Bears for another three years. Yeah, uh, super happy with that. Uh, to, to have a bit of security around it and be a Bear for another three years, I'm, I'm super excited. I uh, really love the club for the last two or three years I've been involved and in, especially the last 12 months with the role I've been in and yeah, couldn't, couldn't be happier. How are you dealing with life as a coach after having such an extensive NRL playing career? Yeah, really enjoying it. Um, after playing at the back end of my career, I felt like that I was um, enjoying developing the, the younger players even as a player uh, when, when they were coming through. And So yeah, it was always something that I sort of was excited about doing and, and then when you get involved with it, you sort of get the bug and, and you really enjoy uh, the coaching side of it. And, and it's more about the rewards when you see players progress on uh, to become Cup NRL players. Uh, that, that's a true reward as, as a coach. In your second year at the helm with Burley, how are the Bears shaping up at this stage of pre-season? Yeah, we're really happy with the boys. Uh, we've got really um, a good quality squad that we're, we're really pleased with. Um, it's, it's probably not as big as it has been previously, but the quality is definitely there and super excited to see how uh, a lot of these boys go. Uh, we've got a few boys up at the Broncos uh, doing pre-seasons that we'll welcome back uh, a couple of months into the new year, but uh, really impressed with the guys we've got here that are training and, and their commitment to uh, pre-season. What did you learn from that grand final experience that you'll bring into the 2024 season? Yeah, there's a lot we learned from uh, this year, but yeah, from, from the grand final obviously wasn't the result we wanted. Um, to score four tries to three, it, it, it hurts, but um, yeah, we, we just know that we have to keep working and, and, and probably work even harder. And uh, no, no one here, no, no coach, no staff member, no player was happy with where, where we were last year. We, we want to get bigger and better and uh, that, that'll be our goal. You mentioned before your NRL affiliation with the Broncos. How do you see that helping the Bears moving forward? Yeah, it's been really good. I, I can't say that the Titans uh, weren't great either, but uh, yeah, the, the Broncos have been super impressive. That They've helped with our recruitment. Uh, we've had some development days up there. Uh, and, and it's just a, a, a scene that we, you're welcome to go to and, and, and watch and learn. So yeah, they've been really good to us uh, in, in the short time we've been involved with them. Former Bear, Josh Rogers, is one of those players in the Bronco system. Can we expect him to link up with Guy Hamilton in the halves again? I'd like to hope so. Yeah, no, I'd love to see Joshy Rogers, but yeah, I, I think you'll see Joshy back in the Bears colours and teaming up with his little mate Hamo. So f fingers crossed, um, it all goes to plan and, and they'll be playing plenty of footy with each other. Uh, if not, I hope to be watching Joshy play plenty of NRL games if he's not playing with the Bears. You had some key signings with the Bears, JJ Collins, Bailey Butler, Tyler Zepanowski. What are you looking for from these players in the upcoming season? Yeah, probably experience. Uh, they, they've all got some great experience, those players you just mentioned, and I think they can bring that. Uh, but also a point of difference through our middle. Uh, they're, they're big bodies with a, a different style of game to probably uh, players that we've had here in the last two or three years. So I'm really expecting the experience to, to come to the forefront, but also a, a bit of punch and a bit, bit of a different sort of attacking style through the middle. With the factory line of fullbacks this club has been producing in past seasons, with Tane and Keanu in recent years, who can you see stepping up to the Bears number one jersey in 2024? Yeah, super excited to see Credence Toy get an opportunity. Uh, we signed Credence last year to be our number one fullback until a young fellow named Keanu Kinney came along and um, yeah, so, sort of set cup of light. But to Credence's credit, he, he just sat back and he, he did his role and he played when uh, Keanu was playing NRL. Uh, so I, I couldn't thank him enough for, for that. And, uh, he's loyal to you to stay here and, and get a, a real good opportunity in 2024. I'm super excited to see Credence Toy there. So he'll definitely be getting first crack there and hopefully he takes it with both hands because he's um, probably a bit of a hidden talent at the moment. So we're super excited. Thanks Luke and best of luck in your preparations for the 24 season. No worries, thank you very much.